Financial markets in Japan are closed on Monday to honor the autumnal equinox. Overall, the Asian session was relatively calm. Risk appetite is unlikely to return to the market soon. Traders welcomed upbeat economic news and the thus losing interest in the conflict in the Middle East. Risky currencies are surging amid the de-escalation of the trade tensions and the US dollars decrease across the board. The US dollar index, which tracks the movement of the greenback against the basket of six major currencies, kicked off the trading week near the last week's highs. On Friday, it closed the trading week with the gains after Fed Vice Chairman Richard Clarida expressed hope that the US consumers would support the economy and it would keep on growing even despite the slowing global economic growth. The greenback rose sharply amid such arbitrary comments. Meanwhile, the dollar yen pay is hesitating to choose a clear trajectory. During the Asian session, it was trading in a narrow range of 15 points between 107.55 and 107.70. The pair managed to break out from its last week's correctional decline and found support around 107.50. What's more, risk aversion sentiment has strengthened amid in years under the US-China trade talks and and the fall in the US Treasury yields. The dollar yen pair tumbled immediately. The next movement of the pair will be determined by John Williams and James Bullard's speeches during the New York session. The Australian dollar managed to recap only 0.30% after its drop at the beginning of September. Then it reversed again, aiming at 0.7300. The Audi USD pair was not affected by mixed data on Australia's PMI, however, it's a wind down by uncertainty over the trade conflict between the United States and China, a major consumer of Australian raw materials. The economic calendar for the beginning of the trading week is likely to be flat. Today, the euro area, Germany and the United States will publish preliminary PMI data for the manufacturing and services sectors. At the New York station, Canada will unveil data on wholesale sales. Nevertheless, traders are more interested in Mario Draghi's speech in Brussels. Thus, market sentiment will be mainly influenced by trade and geopolitical news. You were watching Market News on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals.